I recently made a video about how I learned how to code in 4 months and one of the most common questions I get is how could you possibly do it so fast? And that's a fair question. So in this video I wanted to talk about this one little tweak that I made to my learning strategy that helped me understand really complicated concepts really fast because let's face it, learning how to code and learning computer science is not easy. The stuff is very abstract, it's very complicated, so having the right learning strategies is really important. And I'm someone who's always trying to base my learning based on science because I realize that if I have the right strategies, I can learn in one hour what someone else might learn in three hours. So really investing in having the right strategies for learning is really crucial, especially for something so complicated and abstract as coding and computer science. So in this series of videos, I really want to talk about these strategies that I'm employing. And this first one, it is one tiny tweak that's going to seem like the simplest thing in the world when you hear it that helped me so much in actually understanding really complicated concepts really fast. We all have a very limited memory. So the key really is trying to find strategies for fundamentally understanding stuff rather than just memorizing stuff. So there was this time when I was banging my head against the wall on how asynchronous functions work in JavaScript. So these are essentially functions that you call that don't return straight away, but return at some later stage stage giving space for the other functions to return first. So I just could not for the life of me understand how this thing actually worked. It just didn't seem to make any sense for me. It was so abstract. That was until I found this one video that had this very well-crafted visualization of how asynchronous functions actually work compared to normal functions. So this one method that I found so effective for understanding stuff at a fundamental level is visualization. Just having a well-made visualization actually helps me so much in understand something. Because the thing is, humans are very visual creatures. We aren't necessarily designed to understand really abstract things because when you think about it, when humans were evolving, our brains were really developed to understand the practical things, the things that are important for our survival. And if something is really abstract, it's sort of less likely that it's going to be really important for our survival, right? So our brains are really conditioned to not be good at understanding that. However, if you make something visual, it's sort of almost like cheating your brain to think that it's practical. So it's actually then forcing it to try to understand it. That's probably not the scientific explanation for why this works, but it's how I think about it. So I wanted to give you a few resources that I found really helpful, mainly in the domain of maths and computer science. And the first one of them is this YouTube channel called Three Blue, One Brown. It's probably my favorite YouTube channel of all time. It's helped me so much. He's built this library that really allows him to create these really high quality, really amazing visualizations on different maths concepts. For example, I studied calculus first in high school and then in university, and I never really understood at a fundamental level of what it was and why it was important. That was until I saw 3 Blue 1 Brown's The Essence of Calculus series, where he really explained visually what was actually going on. It just made it click for me. And ever since, whenever I'm stuck into a maths concept, the first thing I do is see if 3 blue one brown has made a video about it. So he created this visual engine that really helps him create these math visualizations and he open sourced it, which means that there's now popped up a lot of these similar channels. So one other very similar channel that focuses specifically on computer science is this one called Reducible, who makes essentially very similar videos, except focused specifically on computer science. For example, this video he made about the big O notation was what finally helped me understand what big O notation actually means. The next one is CS50's Introduction to Computer Science. And if you've seen my channel before, you know how big of a fan I am of this course. It's the best introductory computer science course on the planet. The reason it's good is number one because of the engaging style and number two because of the amazing well-crafted visualizations for example on the very first lecture the way they explained the binary system using these lamps was really just revolutionary for me it's something that genuinely made me so excited to learn more about computer science and the last one is GeoAlgebra, and i know this is not specifically a learning platform but it was something that helped me visualize a lot of math functions because i always struggled with thinking about how functions actually work like how they behave when x gets large and that kind of stuff that was until i started plugging these functions into GeoAlgebra, really seeing visually how the function behaves as inputs gets large another thing where this has been really useful is with big o notation i'll mention in a moment how I'm studying for coding interviews specifically now. So if you are looking at a function and not quite understanding how it will behave and why it's big O and squared, for example, just go plug the function into GeoAlgebra, 
and it will probably become a lot more clear. Now, obviously visualization isn't everything. There's a lot more to it when it comes to studying. So that's why I want to make this series of videos where I really talk about the different things that I have been applying to my learning that helps me understand computer science, coding, and maths really fast. What science has actually shown is that combining multiple different ways of learning is really the most effective way to learn different things. So one thing I'm learning personally right now is data structures and algorithms. So having realized how important visualization is, what I really wanted was to find a specific visual course that would explain everything I need to know about data structures and algorithms in one place, taking all the guesswork out of the equation. What I ended up choosing was a zero to masteries algorithms and data structures path. The teacher Andre is a former Udemy teacher with like 600,000 students. And after his success, he essentially went his own way and created his own platform called zero to mastery, where he has all these roadmaps for different goals that you might have. And I'm really excited to say that they've actually given me a 10% discount code if you want to use their platform so that you can check out from the link below if you want. They're more than 500,000 students and I've been using it myself and it actually helps me understand algorithms a lot better than a lot of the other resources I use. But that's just something I've been thinking about. Visualization has been really, really helpful for me in learning a lot of very hard things really fast. Let me know down below if this helps you and let me know what are your favorite learning strategies. I'm really curious to hear because I'm always trying to improve myself as well. That's really the point of this channel. I want to share my journey of getting better at learning and getting better at computer science, coding and technology because I'm just so excited to learn all these things. And if you're new to the channel, I think I'm doing now is I'm actually self-teaching computer science and I built a system for myself on how I'm doing that. And I talk about that on this video. The response on it has been absolutely amazing. There's actually a free Notion template that's waiting for you if you click on that video. So if you want to learn computer science on your own, definitely watch that video next. Yeah.